Good morning from the Evening Standard Newsroom in London. The Home Secretary says she'll make no apology for tougher immigration rules as she announces the biggest overhaul of the UK's asylum system in decades. Preeti Patel's new plan for immigration detailing how the government intends to deal with people entering the UK illegally will be set out today. The Home Office describes the current asylum system as collapsing under the pressure of what are in effect illegal routes to asylum facilitated by criminals smuggling people into the UK and often resulting in the loss of life. 14 people have been arrested as police dispersed demonstrators in Bristol just two days after another protest which descended into rioting in the city. Specially trained public order officers were deployed last night to College Green where police say around 130 people had gathered earlier in the evening. Officers wielding batons and shields could be seen breaking up activists with footage showing some clashes breaking out between protesters and police. Boris Johnson says the UK doesn't believe in engaging in blockades of any kind as he ruled out the possibility of Britain engaging in a tit-for-tat vaccine war with the European Union. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has sparked fury after saying the EU had the power to forbid exports in an interview with a German newspaper group. The warning reflects growing frustration on the continent that the EU is not getting the supplies it expected from the British-Swedish manufacturer. People around the UK held torches and candles on their doorsteps in tribute to COVID victims as part of a national day of reflection. Parts of the UK's skyline were also lit up in remembrance of hundreds of thousands of lives lost in the past year, as thousands reflected on the anniversary of the first national lockdown. In the capital, Trafalgar Square, the London Eye and Wembley Stadium were among landmarks that lit up yellow at nightfall. The event encouraged people to stand on their doorsteps at 8pm with their phones, candles and torches to signify a beacon of remembrance. And finally, the world's largest painting has been sold for £45 million to raise funds for children's charities. The price makes it one of the most expensive paintings ever sold at auction by a living artist. British artist Sasha Jari spent eight months painting the 17,000 square foot artwork in a deserted hotel's ballroom in Dubai. He planned to sell it in 70 parts, but cryptocurrency businessman on Andre Abdoun has bought the entire work.